everybody, thank you for watching this video. Uh, today I'm just gonna talk about uh, how I got here, I guess my own little story, since this is the first real video that I posted. Also bear with me, it's super hot in here, which is stupid for me to say because this is Minnesota, and that makes no sense. If you watch the trailer for the channel, you know I have been overweight most of my life. It really starts back when I was about 10 years old. I was in really good shape up until that point. When I was seven, I was doing things like Taekwondo, but then I got introduced to video games, which kind of became like, yes, video games, you know, Super Mario Brothers, Super Nintendo was my first console. Take that back. We had an Atari. Getting off track. I got tired of doing things like Taekwondo and I was just like, don't want to do that anymore. So I wasn't exercising anymore. I was very sedentary. Oh, my, my finger just popped. Did you hear that? I was eating horrible foods. I was just constantly eating junk food because I was an only child and I could, you know, easily persuade my parents to uh, let me have whatever I treat I wanted. Looking back, I had really bad eating habits aside from eating the junk um, because we're instilled with this idea of eat what's on your plate right? But no one ever taught me when to stop eating. Eat what's on your plate. So everything that gets put in front of me was going to get eaten. We know how that turned out. When I was a teenager, I started to lose some of that chubbiness. You know, I, I wasn't thin by any means, but I had more muscle. Um, and, and I think that was kind of overcompensating for some of it. But with becoming a teenager comes that teenage angst and my angst, at least what I thought it was, ended up becoming depression. That depression ended up with me learning more bad habits, basically. I learned quickly that I could get a rush of euphoria if I ate something I really liked. It's something that initially, if you just have a little bit, it's not that big a deal. But if I'm trying to fill this void, if I'm trying to find some happiness, I'm eating this piece of chicken, and, and I feel good. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to keep eating that chicken. And it's those, those same... Um, things from from being a kid is just like it's okay to keep eating it, it wasn't in my head that continually eating was a bad thing because nobody taught me that nobody talked about it i didn't get teased for it that much you know as a kid being being chubby i mean occasionally because that happens because kids suck but it wasn't that bad you know after a while every time you're depressed you want to do it again because it'll make you feel better but it doesn't always happen. It doesn't always feel the same way. I mean, if you bite into, like, let's say a, a turtle cheesecake, which used to be my favorite for the first time, you take that first bite. It's delicious. But the next few times you have that same thing, it's not going to taste as good as the first time. So you're chasing the feeling. You're not chasing the actual food. You think that food's going to get you there, but it's not. I got into music, which, you know, I don't want to be cliche. It kind of saved my life in a way. I, I never really tried to commit suicide, but I thought about it a lot. And I pretended like I was going to a few times for attention because I was that guy. And that's not something I'm proud of. Getting into music really helped me out. It helped me understand life a little bit better. And I was a drummer. So being a drummer and I was in a pop punk band, just, a, you know, a teenage band. Uh, that was helpful. So I lost some of the weight again. You know, like I, I said in the, the trailer video, I fluctuated all the time. Then came college. Started smoking cigarettes a little bit, not a whole lot, but um, I have asthma, which that was a really stupid idea. After a show one night, we finished playing at this bar, and the next day I woke up just choking. And what had happened, I developed some sort of mutated weird strain of pertussis, which is whooping cough. I could not do almost anything for six months. It lasted that long. I was constantly coughing, and anything I did would make me cough. If I walked across the room, that would start a coughing fit. And I'm just coughing stuff up out of my lungs. Um, I'm lethargic. I don't feel good at all. I'm having fevers, things like that. I pretty much do almost nothing for six months. I had to stop playing drums in the band. Um, and then depression really kicked into high gear at that time because I couldn't do the things I loved. So guess what I did? I ate. I ate and ate and ate and I watched television, played games. That was my life. It was food, games, television. Also getting older, you know, getting into the, the early 20s and stuff like that, I start drinking. And I start drinking a lot. You know, I'm not like an alcoholic, but I was a binge drinker. 
just like all of my friends were at the time, you know? We were getting out of college. Some of us were getting out of college. Some of us weren't making it through college. It became like that stupid contest of, I can drink more than you. You know, I, I was that guy that, you know, I, I would try to drink as much as I could and as little time as I could. And, you know, I would call out the number. Oh, 13, I'm 13 in. Who cares? What a stupid thing to do. Of course, you know, all of that alcohol built up, you know? It turned to fat, just like all the eating did. My biggest was about, um, I think, 211 pounds, which is some people that's like, oh, wow, that's not that big. I I'm a short guy. I'm like not even five foot eight. So that really, like, I, I looked pretty dumpy. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm looking like Danny DeVito over here, um, but a little taller than Danny DeVito. No offense to Danny DeVito. I love your work. How did I get over that? <laughs> this is dorky. I was playing Warcraft online and in a guild I met a girl and I really got into this girl and I was just like okay you know nobody's gonna date me looking like I do I gotta drop the weight so I wasn't working a very steady job it was three days a week and unfortunately it wasn't paid much because it's an internship so I didn't care so instead I devoted a lot of time to working out I didn't change my eating habits that much but the amount of exercise I was getting I mean I was working out six to eight hours three times a week and of course I dropped the weight I dropped 40 pounds and built up some muscle and I was looking pretty decent again that doesn't work I didn't change any of my habits I put a band-aid over it. And what happened is that relationship with that girl who I ended up um, staying with for a long time and we ended up getting married became a very toxic relationship, not just for me, but for her too. We both were depressed and we both just stuck our negative habits onto each other. So we both gained a lot of weight then. So it's all that work I put in, you know, it was for nothing because I never changed my habits. I got a divorce. I got out of the toxic relationship and I was ready to get back into dating and I lost some weight again. Not as much as I did before, but I was in better shape and I packed on some muscle again and I found a great girl and I'm in a very healthy relationship with uh, my girlfriend Rochelle because I got complacent and I still didn't change my habits. I put the weight back on. I'm almost back to where I started. I'm at right now I'm at a little over 207 pounds and that feels awful. For any of you that have lost weight and put it back on, you know how horrible that feels. You feel like such a failure. You feel just disgusting. You, you just can't get out of the weight, right? That's how it feels. So hitting almost my highest weight again had me thinking a lot and reflecting on the things that I do. And I started to notice things. I started to notice trigger foods. And for me, it's... Pretty obvious ones, things like cheeseburgers. And it's not the burgers themselves, it's if I eat a cheeseburgers, I'm ordering fries, and you can best believe I want a lot of fries. And if I'm getting this at like a bar, you can best believe I'm having a beer, and it's not gonna be a light beer, it's gonna be a stout, because I love beer. Pizza is another one. If I start eating pizza, I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna keep eating pizza until I physically can't do it anymore, or I run out of pizza. Hot wings, oh boy. Hot wings are probably my favorite food. If hot wings was healthy, I would be the healthiest person you ever met. And of course, beer. I love beer. I love trying new beers. I sound super hipster. I love trying different craft beers. Constantly. All the time. Anywhere I go, if I can get a beer, especially one I've never tried before, I want to do it every time. But that turns out not just one. I'll have two or three or four. And I started noticing, after I started picking up on my trigger foods and things like that, I started noticing everyone around me, like if we're sitting down to a dinner, we go to bar trivia once a week because I'm getting old and apparently that's what we do now. I'm always eating the most. And if somebody doesn't finish their food and they offer it up, I always end up with it somehow. And it's not their fault. It's they put it out there and I'm like, oh yeah, I'll take that chicken strip. I'll take those extra fries. I'm always the one that ends up drinking the most. And it's like I said before, it's not like I'm an alcoholic. It's not like I drink every day. But when I go out, when I have a beer, I want another one. And I want another one because it feels good. So I've started identifying things. What am I doing about it? Luckily, I have an amazing girlfriend who's helping me out with this. And we've decided that we're going to start trying to eat more whole foods. Yeah, I know. I keep sounding more and more hipster the more I talk. So it's going to be things like meats that aren't fried. 
you know, not breaded, anything like that. Baked chicken, you know, steaks, fine. Pork can be okay. Trying to stay away from like the white grains, like white bread, stuff like that. Going for the more complex carbs, like brown rice, um, quinoa, more vegetables, more fruit. I'm not worried right now about the portions. I know that's something I am gonna combat because I have to. Right now I'm just trying to concentrate on eating the healthier foods to keep me away from my trigger foods. And the same goes with alcohol. Right now I'm trying to stay away from beer. I'm not gonna limp my myself all the time. I'm not gonna say, hey, I'm never drinking beer again because guess what, that's not gonna work. I'm never gonna not eat pizza again but I'm going to try to be consistent as I can be. So it might be a case where, oh, you know, this month there is an event going on. We got invited over here and it's a cookout. So I'm like, you know what? We'll have a few beers today. We'll have a cheeseburger. But after that, the next couple of weeks, I've got to be right back on it. I can't fall into that trap. Once I'm into the habit of eating those healthier foods, then I can start taking a look at the portions, the calories, the macros, things like that. But I have to get into that mindset first. And it's gonna be a long process. I have done the quick weight loss before. Like I said earlier, I lost 40 pounds and that was in a relatively short time. And it didn't stick. The big thing that I've learned and the big problem I have is that the weight isn't the problem. It's the consequence. I'm the problem. The things that I do, the things that I think the reasons I eat and keep eating or the reasons I keep drinking, that's the problem. Food itself isn't a problem. Beer itself isn't a problem. I'm the problem. And I'm a tough problem to solve. So it's gonna take time. I don't think that I'm going to magically be like, okay, yeah, I can just do this now and, and everything's fine. I'm sure I'm gonna fail a few times. I'm sure the weight isn't gonna stay off all the time, but if I keep making those two steps forward, if I end up taking a step back once in a while, eventually I'm still moving forward. So thanks everybody for watching this video. Please hit that subscribe button and leave a comment because I would love to meet more people that are in situations like this. Or even if you're not, if you just wanna talk, if you have questions, if you can answer questions for me, I'm, I'm in. I would love to talk to you, I'd love to meet you. I will keep updating this channel with all kinds of videos, um, mental health, physical health, emotional health, financial health. And there's going to be a lot of nerdy videos too because I'm a big comic and Overwatch nerd. So I can't really keep that out. So everyone, thank you again so much for watching this video because I feel like an idiot doing this, but it's kind of therapeutic for me. So thank you again and we'll see you next time.